you done? Obviously not. Three reasons to not have a pet parrot. They're messy. They're noisy. And sometimes they think of you as their own girlfriend. Dude, what are you doing? That's gross. So gross. In all seriousness, I love my pet parrot Angel. But just to be clear, they are a lot of work. For example, according to my vet and the people at the rescue, Angel was neglected for the first eight years of his life. That's why he's scruffy, because he didn't learn any kind of good skills to deal with stress. And according to my vet, he was also smuggled in from the wild, which explains why when I got him, he was infested with fleas. And don't forget, many species of parrots can live anywhere between 60 to 80 years old. Today is the day we finally go and pick out Angel's craft supply toys. Right, Angel? I know I'm saying finally, maybe it's not the video you asked for, but it's the video you deserve. And Angel agrees. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. I do want to point out, I wish I could break... <laughs> you proud of yourself? Yeah, of course he is. I wish I could bring him with me to the toy store, but he is so scared of everything, except me. I don't, I don't scare you one bit, do I? I don't think so. I'll bring you some nice toys, okay? Bye. All right, so here we are at the most amazing parrot store I've ever been to. I really wish I could bring Angel here, but he is such a coward. He's afraid of everything. And the owner was nice enough. Nice, nice, nice. Nice enough. Wow, English number one. He was nice enough to let us come here and film the entire area and kind of look through all the toys, get inspiration. I'm gonna show you, but first, let's take a tour. When I first got Angel, I didn't know what kind of toys he liked and he was so scared of everything. Again, I think the previous owners who had him really neglect him because he didn't even know what a toy was for the first eight years of his life. So if he doesn't touch a toy, give it a couple of days. If they still don't touch it, they probably don't like the texture. So let me show you the different kinds of textures. So here you can see that it's completely made out of wood. Some birds like that, some birds don't like the texture of wood. And the idea of a toy is that they need to destroy it. If they're destroying it, you got a good one, which means you have to remember that it's their favorite toy. And then here you can see that there's kind of a very slim wood texture. I think most parrots will love this because it's so slim and really very fragile. So all they have to do is like kind of touch their beak and they, they will break it. And if they like potato bags, well, you got potato bags with little pieces of, of paper on the inside. We have a cardboard box with paper on the inside and there's wood and there's plastic. I mean, if I was a bird, this would be heaven. So as you can see, we have all these different kinds of toys, little balls. And remember, you have to buy the toys depending on the size of your parrot. Obviously, you're not gonna buy a huge chunk of wood if, if it's a budgie. Oh, wait, wait, I wanna show you what grains this. Maybe it's me. I wish I was a parrot and I could have these things. I love dinosaurs. So you have toys that look like other animals that birds can ravage, like burbosaurs. That's what I'm gonna call it. And then kind of like a fish looking toy, which is really cool. You have to think about it as getting toys for kids. Parrots are permanently children. So the more colors, the more textures, also mentally stimulating, which we're gonna get to in not too long, is very important. Okay, so we got a little pause here. The owner just told me that he's the one who crafted this. How cool is that? So I'm here to craft a parrot toy when the owner himself has been crafting parrot toys. The other thing that the owner also crafted is this perch over here. And he also has, look at that, little holes so that you can hide bird treats on the inside. That is great. You need to keep your bird busy, otherwise they scream. Another texture that we have to definitely talk about is coconut textures. Did you know that a parrot's beak can destroy a coconut? And did you know that your, your skull is as fragile as a coconut? <gasps> Let me get, okay wait, look over there. So if your parrot is not too scared of eyes and faces, they have pinata toys. Those pinata toys are really fun again because there's texture and they're a little hard, but don't be surprised if your parrot goes through them within a few minutes because they want to get the treats on the inside. Even though Angel is 16 years old, he still plays like a little boy. So colors are definitely his thing. And he does have very specific favorites that I have to absolutely buy every month. The first one is this one. So it's, it's pretty simple, it's cardboard and wood, but for for some reason, he spends hours a day going through this. And I would say it lasts about two weeks. One of the rare toys that lasts two weeks. So for those of you who are like, but Jackie, parrots are so cute. The answer is no, they're not just cute, they're pricey. So if you are investing in a parrot, make sure that you do keep money on the side because a toy like this costs about 18 bucks. 
That's Canadian, so for you US people, it's cheaper. The next toy that Angel loves, which I don't know why I get so excited about it, I love it so much. It's this one here, which is kind of like a, a mesh. I don't, I don't know what this is. You grains know, if you know what this material is called, let me know. And it's wrapped around quite a bit of bunch of little squiggly papers, look. And there's wood and there's little plastic cubes. He loves plastic. I don't know why, but he takes those plastic cubes and puts it in the water. I don't know if he thinks he can soften it, but Angel, you, you can't soften plastic. And there's like these two little coconutty things. So when he's upset at me and he wants me to know, he does this. He knocks them together and then I think someone's at the door. I go at the door and he's just looking at me on the side like... So yeah, he's a little bugger that one. Just so you have an idea. <gasps> and the third one, which I regret getting, you know when you have a young child around and you get a toy that you're like, oh, it makes music, it makes sound, that is so cute. But the answer is, no, but he loves it, so it makes him happy, so it must make me happy, right? And the reason he loves this one is because of the little cubes of plastic and chains. He absolutely loves tearing these out. And again, when he's unpleased, he decides to do things like this. And then regret fills me. And again, Budget your bird. We know that the owner crafts a lot of his own toys, but what we don't know is that we have supplies to craft our own toys. Heaven, not just for birds, but for crafters. Please be sure not to just pick up any kind of wood or any kind of plastic, because a lot of times these woods and plastics could be toxic for your own birds. So you have to really make sure that they are safe. You don't want a sick bird. So we have everything from like cardboard pieces, leather pieces, little blocks of super colorful pieces of wood from different sizes. And that's for sure one of the things I'm going to be picking up. So we're going to pick up stuff now to finally craft things for Angel. First things first, we need a good base. We got our rope. Next, I feel like we definitely need some wooden chips. Okay, so we're gonna pick these up. Oh, by the way, this here, 15 bucks, $8. And we have all these different kinds of textures. We have some leather, we have some wood, we have beads and plastic. And there's this weird kind of string, I guess, which I think is this. I could be wrong, I'm usually wrong, but I'm going to assume it's this. And nine bucks, in the bin it goes. The next toy we're gonna grab is this yucca wood. So this is really safe and it's soft, so parrots can really go through it much more easily. And he loves this. I know it because I keep hiding his walnuts in there and he's done within five minutes. 19 bucks. Angel, you're making a hole in my wallet. So one of the other things that parrots need, not just toys, because if they have toys and they're done, they're like, eh, I'm bored. They also need foraging toys. You might ask, But Jackie, what is a foraging toy? Let me explain. A foraging toy is the kind of toys that parrots will play with, but also you can hide food inside and it keeps them busy. So instead of finishing their food in 10 seconds or, or a minute, it can take them between any time 30 minutes to 45 minutes just to get the same amount of food in their belly, which is great for your ears because they can make some decibels. This is one of Angel's old toys. The easiest thing to do. Did you just hit me? What? What did I do? You have fur. Fluff on your head. <laughs> He's way too distracting. Is a toilet paper roll leftover. Bend in one of the sides, kind of like, like that. Shove in some of the treats. In this case, I have a walnut and some of the Nutriberries. In here, close it up. Shake it for your burp. And then you can put it in here. Now make sure that your parrot sees it because once they see and they know there's goodies inside, they'll go for it, right? <laughs> Why? Why? Why you gotta pick my eye? All right, so let's prep this one that we got. This one is really cool because really all you have to do is, is put the food inside and he has to twirl it and get the food. So Angel's too smart, right? So I have to level it up for him. All right, so we're gonna put a walnut here, a walnut there, but that's not all. I'm gonna take one of these, <gasps> so he likes to bite them. Right? And just kind of cover the area that I'm hiding the snacks in, so that way it takes just a little longer for him to get through. Parrots should not be eating seeds. Fun fact. Seeds are kind of like McDonald's for your parrot, so you don't want to do that. Instead, what I get are pellets, and that is really healthy because it has different blends of different grains, but it also has different bread blends. blends. It has like different fruits and different vegetables, and they can eat it. The one that I get is this one, not sponsored, but hey, if they want to sponsor me, I'll take it. And if your parrot doesn't have the taste for this kind of stuff, grind it into a flour, add some eggs and a little rice flour, put it in the oven and make it like a birdie bread, they'll develop the taste for it. And the last thing that I have is called Nutriberries, not sponsored again, but heck, I'll take it. And these are kind of like snacks that you hide in the toys. Remember what I told you, Gaines, about foraging toys? Yeah. 
You put that in there and they're gonna go crazy trying to get that stuff. So there goes your wallet. You're not allowed in this room. This is a hall for Angel. You excited? Excited bird? Angel, you excited? Oh, this is for you. Pretty bird. Look at him. He's looking at it. He's pretty excited. You ready? So here are all the items that I picked up at the parrot toy store. Everything from acrylics to ropes, even a little bell, and wooden parts. The only thing I didn't pick up was pretty much a cardboard piece because I have so many boxes that I, what I tend to do is cut them up and use them. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So I'm going to cut a few squares out of this and what I'm feeling right now is I want it to be a big toy. There's these big toys that I'm kind of too cheap to buy because they're close to $50. So now I have materials to make many of these different toys. Alright, as I was opening this, I needed to show you grains because look, even a parrot toy, why you beat me, has resealable bags. Thank you very much for that. What did I do? Hey, stop it. I'm a person. I have feelings. Did you know that? I want to do three parters, so three different sections. You're scaring me. <laughs> So we need three different sections. I'll try and have three different colors. Oh my god, these are long. He's gonna have an ultimate. An ultimate toy. I know, your demands are big. Relax. You done? Obviously not. I don't know why I'm really nervous, because the only toy that I've ever made was a recreation of the wood, cardboard, wood, cardboard, wood, cardboard. This is my first time really making a toy that is going to be a lot more embellished in one of those really hyper expensive looking ones. The most important thing I have is I want to make sure that they fit on here so that I can hook it into his cage. So our base is going to be pretty much making a loop right up here first. So here's our base. So we're gonna have, I wanted three colors, but I think this is going to be the smartest way to use these ropes. Is it birdie approved? <laughs> yep, birdie approved. <laughs> approved inspection all right i'm gonna continue this i have another material here that i don't think he's ever played with it before what do you think no not my head no come here i said Bring it. oh you can't that's new i'm gonna play with this try <gasps> okay he likes it i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away I think I'm getting the hang of it because, okay, so here's the first side, pretty sad And then the second side looks way more interesting, a lot more fun I think the pattern of having wood, cardboard, wood, cardboard really did make it so much more interesting And I did put knots here and there in case he breaks it There's some kind of safety because burbs, them beaks are good Now for the middle part, what I want to do is I want to make them kind of acrylics So we have little chains, this little plastic, and beads And here is my first ever toy. Angel's gonna test it out, so don't just leave me yet. We need to see if Angel likes it. I went from absolutely hating it to really loving how it looks like a mess, but at least it's something that I made for him. So I'm really curious which parts he's gonna go for first. I know he loves chains, he loves beads, he loves cardboard. It's a little bit of everything. It really is a custom toy. Holy heck, I totally underestimated the amount of time it takes to make a bird toy, which goes to show why these things are so expensive because each and every one of them is handy. Made. I should have known that, but for some reason, right over my head. You happy, bird? You ready to see what I made you? Ta-da! What do you think? You wanna try it? <laughs> what are you doing? All right, here you go, Angel. What do you think? <laughs> I think it is parrot approved. Yeah.
Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to watch a crafty video, specifically a crafty video that I did with Angel, make sure you check it up here. He gets to choose my art supplies. And if you want to watch a salty video, make sure you check on the bottom there. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.